In this video, I'll show you how we can get started with Ubuntu Desktop. So the first step is to download Ubuntu Desktop and make the bootable flash disk. So here on Ubuntu.com, if you go to download, so you will click on Get Ubuntu Desktop. Here you can see two options are available here. One is for the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. This is for the long time support, which means that the support will be guaranteed up to April 2027. So today is 2023. It means that for four years, we can use it with full support. Here is Ubuntu 23.10. So the support for this is only available for next seven months. So I will not be going for it. I'll be downloading and I'll recommend you to download the version which has LTS. So this is Ubuntu desktop LTS for 22.04. So we'll click on download now. So we'll wait for this download to complete. All right, so download has completed now. So here is Ubuntu 22.04 desktop AMD 64 bit. So we'll be using Belina Etcher to make the bootable flash disk. So you'll simply search for Balina Etcher. You can see here etcher.balina.io. So we'll go here. And here you can download Etcher. You can download it for your operating system if you are using Mac OS or Windows or Linux where you want to prepare the USB, bootable USB. So you will be downloading. So right now I'm using Windows 11. So I'll be downloading it for Windows. All right, so installer is being downloaded here. I have both the versions here. I have Belina Etcher Portable and Belina Etcher Setup. If you install it, of course, it will be available on your computer. If you are frequently creating the bootable disks, then you must go for the installation. If you want to only use it when you need it, then you can go for the Belina Etcher Portable. You can also download Belina Etcher Portable. If you go here, you can see here Belina Etcher Windows Portable. Let me go here to Belina Etcher Portable, right click on this and run as administrator. Here you go. So what we have to do, we have to flash from file and that file is of course available here in my download folder, Ubuntu desktop 22.04. And here select the target disk. I'll be connecting USB flash disk here. And here USB flash disk is connected. I'll be using this generic flash disk, which is 8 GB. So I'll be using this and select. So the first thing is that you need to select the ISO image. Then we have chosen the flash disk and simply click on flash. It will take some time. You just need to wait for this process to complete. All right, so flash is completed now. So I will be just closing this and I'll remove the installation media from here. So here is the installation media. And turn on the desktop. And now we'll be booting it from the flash disk. The boot order, so SATA 0 is the hard drive where I'll be installing it. And generic flash disk is the disk where installation media for Ubuntu 22.04 is there for the desktop version. So we'll be starting with generic flash disk here try or install Ubuntu. So we'll be doing try or install Ubuntu. And you can see here HP desktop, it has loaded now. You have two options here, whether you want to start installing Ubuntu or you want to try it. So I'll be clicking on install Ubuntu. Choose the keyboard layout, continue. And is it normal installation, minimal installation or web browser and basic utilities? So I'll be doing the normal installation, which will have the web browser, utilities, office software, games, and multimedia media player, because I'll be using this for day-to-day -day operation and also install the third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware installation media format. So I'll be clicking this also and continue. Here you need to be very careful because once you install this, it will erase everything from the hard disk, which has been inserted into your computer. I'll continue here and you can see here I have 240 GB SSD which I had specially for Ubuntu installation and it will be installed over here and it will erase everything from this and it will create dev STA and ext4 will be the partition in this 240 GB and I'll click install now. Now you can see it will automatically create two partitions here I'll continue. 
Here I need to select the time zone. I'm living in Muscat, Oman, so I'll be choosing Muscat and continue. Here you need to provide your name, your computer name, your user ID and password and then continue. Now you have to have patience. It might take longer depending upon your system performance, with depending upon your hard disk read write speed and so on. I'm using HP workstation here. All right, so finally installation has completed. So we need to remove the installation media and restart the computer now. Ubuntu desktop is starting now. All right, so here we go. Enter the password. I will not send the system information. I'll be enabling the location service and ready to go. So here is Ubuntu desktop. Here is the browser. By default, Firefox is installed here. I need to install Chrome. So I'll be typing chrome.google.com. And here I will download the Chrome, which will be a package for the Linux Debian and agree and install. It will, of course, download the package here, but I'll need to install this. You can see here the package is being downloaded. So I'll show you how we can install Chrome on Ubuntu desktop. Here you can see the package is downloaded. I'll go here to this download folder here and here I'll rename it, for example, Chrome. And now I'll be opening the terminal here. So I need to install this dev package. I'll be moving to CD download here, CD space downloads. And here you can see in CD downloads, sudo apt install and the package name was chrome.deb you can see here in downloads folder chrome.deb is there so i'll be typing space dot slash chrome.deb it will just install this you can see here that the package is being installed we'll wait for this process to complete here you go so chrome has been installed now open packages and search for chrome here you can see the Chrome has been installed and it is available for us to use. And here I can simply exit this now. So this way you can install Chrome. Now, usually the first step is to update the software. And here you'll click on Ubuntu Pro. Ubuntu Pro is available for free up to five computers if you are using for personal use. I'll enable Ubuntu Pro now. Register a new account. Just type the email address, your user ID, password, and create account. So here you'll get a confirmation email. Just open your email. Here is the email from Ubuntu one. I'll just confirm the email, confirm that I'm not a robot, and yes, I'm here. Get Ubuntu Pro now. Here you'll choose myself, not for the organization. Five quantity Ubuntu Pro is available for free and you will register it now. So first you register your account. Now you are registering for Ubuntu Pro. It has created the free personal token and we'll be using this free personal token. Copy the terminal command here or the token here and I'll go here to the terminal now. Open the terminal in Ubuntu desktop. Paste the code here which I was given and here I'll enter my password. And that's it. It is now updating Ubuntu Pro. And here you go. Ubuntu Pro has been updated and installed. Let me go back to the desktop here. Let me just see the status here. You can see here Ubuntu Pro support is enabled and all the security updates will be enabled. Latest updates are available here. So developer options are here and Ubuntu Pro is here now. I'll just close it and let me run the update sudo apt get update. Positive is updated sudo apt get upgrade. Packages will be updated now. All right, so Ubuntu Pro is also installed and all the packages are now up to date. So this was all about Ubuntu desktop. Let's move to other video and see what else we can install on Ubuntu desktop.